are so super excited to have you in the studio today. We have Hi. Sasha Petersa from Pretty Little Liars. Aww, I'm so happy She's to be alive. here. I know, you're alive. And you're so much sweeter than Allison Aww, on the show. Thank you. Already we, we have learned this. Oh, I don't know I though, I have it. to say, I was thinking about this today when we were getting ready for the interview. Allie has this like dichotomy, like she's such a bad girl, but she like pulls you in. I know, like, want to be her be friend. friend. Well, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I've dissected that quite a bit because she, yeah, if, if she was mean all the time, no one would like her. True. And it's like this hate-love relationship that especially the girls have with her because they're like scared of her, but they I really love, love her. her. At the same time, yeah, it's, it's really intricate and interesting. Yeah. Now, I know that we're here to talk specifically about this crazy episode coming up, the prequel. Yes. But I always love to hear, I always love to hear people's <laughs> stories about like their audition, how you got the job, because chances are every girl in Hollywood wanted to be in your shoes, Aww. you know? And still does want to <laughs> yeah. be. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, it was actually really interesting, because um, the girl that plays uh, Maya, Bianca Lawrence, mm -hmm. uh, she tried out for Hannah, and so did I, and so did Ashley Benson. So we were testing for Hannah at first. And all at the same time. All at the same time. And so. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. Yeah. Um, Gil P Pillsbury is our casting, and she is, she's so sweet, and they're all amazing. And so it was kind of interesting what they did. So, you know, obviously Bianca got Maya, and Ashley got Hannah, and I got Allison. And it's really funny how it worked out. I like that because we were all, like, close. We were good friends. And so um, it kept us really close knit, and there was, like, a place for all of us. Yeah. I love and that. I, and I love playing Allison. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. So. If you, if you were to play one of the other main characters, who do you think you would fit best as? Honestly, um, I don't know about the viewer's perspective, but comfortably <laughs> me, comfortably. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I would, uh, I would like to play Arya. It's kind of something different. Why do you say? Well, um, she's kind of she's kind of quirky. Yeah. And um, her style's pretty different, and she kind of, you know, beats her own drum. I like that about her. So it'd, it'd be kind of fun. Yes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about this prequel episode, um, which is coming yes. up really soon, just a it few is. weeks away. I'm so excited. Halloween themed, and apparently, I mean, the blogs are buzzing that this is going to be us seeing Ali in a whole new way. Yeah, I mean, it's it's honestly it's a whole new light because it's a prequel. It's about like a year before Ali went missing, and it's it's called the first secret for a reason. There's a lot of first secrets in this episode. Um, things that the viewers don't know, and it's all from Allie's perspective. If you watch the other flashbacks, it's all from the girls' perspective mm -hmm. of what, and what they remember of Allison from that scene. Um, and this is all from Allie's perspective on the girls, and um, it's the beginning of their friendship, and it's it's before she's made real enemies, um, mm -hmm. or the first encounters, should I say, of her enemies. And also, um, you get to see scenes with her alone, which is something that you Ooh. haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, uh, you get to see her room for the first time. I'm is that where that. she gets the doll that the, that says, it's my turn to torture you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh! Yes. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, I was really excited about seeing my room, because I was like, oh, you've never seen it before. What is Allison's room? Yeah, um, and a tip. For all the fans out there, and you guys too, you yeah. should you should watch and like maybe even pause and see like my room because there's some secrets in there. Too. Ooh, maybe, maybe some hints for yeah. future episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now when I can't tell you too much. That. When you're shooting, do you know that these things are hints, or is it yes. you look back and you realize, well, oh my goodness, well, putting all both. together with with Allison's room, I did. Okay. And um, yeah, our our set designer, she is fabulous, 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 fabulous. And there's several scenes in the Halloween episode where you're like. Wow, um, I can't see what it is, but you'll see it. <laughs> There's this really wow. good part, and, and you're just the set was just incredible, incredible. Um, and a lot of times things look different on camera as well, mm -hmm. but this was like so spectacular, like movie magic. But this was so spectacular yeah. just to watch without like seeing it through the lens. It was it was really really good. So. Um, I know there's some secrets in that place as well, so I, I kind of oh do. Oh goodness! Yeah, there's there's a lot in this episode, and um, I think it's going to be um, a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. And um, what's also strange is that the girls obviously don't know everything that Allison knew. So it's like when you watch the other episodes, they don't know 
and right. he, that, that's gone on. So the viewers know, but the girls don't know, and you're kind of like, mm. so <laughs> crazy. Yeah, it gets it gets really oh. interesting. Really and interesting. From, from what we've heard, um, it's Noel Khan's Halloween party. Yes, the biggest and party of the year. The biggest party of the year. <laughs> yes. Everyone wants an invite. Uh -huh. And we're gonna see a new sort of relationship between the two of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because um, Noel and Allison were friendly. They were like best buddies. Um, which is interesting because I mean, in all the other scenes, I mean, even the girls really don't like Noel. It's mm -hmm. creepy now. He's creepy, right? He's got yeah. that like creepy totally smile. Creepster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is different, and he's playful and he's friendly and. And Allison's the same way back, and they kind of joke together, which is like something that you definitely have not seen before. And um, yeah, I don't know how much I can reveal. But I'm really excited. Love this. And then, it's, of course, also, you know, we've been hearing tons about the character Lucas. Oh, that yeah. That we're going to see a different, darker. I love Brendan. I sort of I love Brendan so much. Yeah. Well, you you know, up to this point, you haven't really gotten, um, I think, a taste for the real Lucas. Um, really. You've, you've seen like a, a little bit of it just because, you know, obviously he's been affected by Allison. And um, pretty much all of her enemies, or all the suspects, if you will, have mm -hmm. been affected by Allison. Um, so, yes, you will begin to see, I think, a darker side of Brendan. Of Lucas, not Brendan. Brendan's a sweetheart. Lucas, in his character, yeah, he's got some issues. <laughs> so fascinating, though. I mean, yeah. people walk away from this episode with a lot of answers that will help us once the second half of season two starts airing. Um, Marlene is. She always says this. I, I love this about yeah. her too. She's this. She told us by the end of the second season, mm -hmm. there will be a lot of questions answered. Okay. And about two more questions. Of course. Revealed. Two steps forward, one step yes. back. It's like a time warp. So um, this the whole course of season one and like the first part of season two uh, is all gone over the course of six weeks, which is really hard to believe because there's Crazy. a lot that's happened. <laughs> and it, it kind of just makes it that much more intense. Um, and not to say that the, the first season and the first half of the second season were slow, but um, you didn't, I don't think no one really realized what kind of a pace everything was going at. Mm -hmm. um, and when we reveal the second half of the second season, the first episode uh, is a time warp. They're a month ahead. And so um, if you think about how much has gone on in the first six weeks that the show has been on, yeah, uh, a lot has happened. So um, yeah, it's, it's, you're kind of like thrown in this like weird mood because uh, you've just seen the Halloween episode and there's a lot that was revealed in that and the girls still don't know about that stuff yet. Or maybe they do and you don't know yet. And so when you, and you see the first episode, you're just like, what has happened? Everything like seems, it's like their world is crashing down almost. Um, and for a while you feel that way, but it's. But it's it all really comes together. Maybe. Uh, has that <laughs> happened to you where you look back and you're like, how did I not realize this? But once the information's in front of you, it's pretty I, obvious in your face. I have, because um, watching the episodes, what I like to do is I don't read um, everyone else's part of the script. Um, I go to the table read and watch them like act it out. Which, oh, cool. Which is just like exciting for me, because then I kind of see it come together, and then when I watch the episodes, I see how they've done it, and it's like, it's fun for me. So, um, yeah, there's been things where I'm like, oh my gosh, they did that, and then there'll be a secret that I didn't even notice until I watched it that I was like, Oh, now and I because I know like like 10 episodes ahead, I'll be like, oh, <laughs> and like you, like you realize like what's going on and it, yeah, it gets super, oh my goodness. I have to crazy. say too that we adore your cast. Aww. Both, I mean, of course Thank on you. screen, but off screen they're all great people. Yeah. And it's so crazy really because, lucky. you know, a mm -hmm. lot of them are older than you. Um, what's it like working with, with some of these actors that are a little bit older? Have any of them like pulled you under their wing or anything well, like that? Well, what's been kind of nice is um, I've had that challenge since I started acting. Yeah. I, I started around four and a half. And I've always, <laughs> four seriously, and a half. four and a half. <laughs> and when I was, how old was I? I was like six or seven. Or no, I was younger than that. I was I was like five. Uh huh. I got a role for like six and a half, seven. They really wanted someone oh, that was really? older. Yeah, so I, I've always been doing that. Right. It's been kind of hard for me. It's been challenging because most of the time in this business, um, people who are older play younger. Mm -hmm. Right. Like especially in the, in this show, everyone's between like 21 and 32 and they play, yeah. they play younger. Um, so it, that's kind of interesting. And what's been nice about it is that they, they've just been fine with it. Like it hasn't, it hasn't been a problem sometimes that gets awkward for them, but in this case it wasn't. And so, um, 
yeah, we, we all have a really great relationship and it's it's pretty easy going and we have a lot of fun on set and there's no like cattiness going on, which it's hard. We've got a lot of girls in this show. It could have easily <laughs> gone the other That's way. That's great to hear, though. Yeah. So, that really is yeah, great to hear. It's, it's very comforting for us and it's, it's nice because, you know, you go to work and you have a good time. Mm -hmm. And can I say the eye candy on your show? It's <laughs> oh ridiculous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that must be horrible. I mean, gosh. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 we're all friends, so exactly. I, I don't, I don't see it that way. Yeah. It is different, um, <laughs> but it's really entertaining for us. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs>